currently the work that I'm doing in Ho Chi Minh City. I've been here for about five years or so. Centers around kind of the architectural decline that's happening in the city. You have a lot of uh, construction and building going on. You have a lot of kind of unadulterated um, residential buildings, high rises going up all over the, the different um, districts in the in the city. And it's creating this sort of ugly architectural landscape across the board. And so a lot of the work that I'm doing now is kind of looking at, uh, at this kind of decline based on architecture um, as it's focused on architectural elements like windows, doors, and um, patterns on these uh, windows and architectural elements that you see all over Vietnam. I've been uh, making work uh, since, like most kids, I guess, since I was little, since I was probably four or five years old drawing drawing little silly cartoons and um, then eventually taking painting lessons kind of later on in, in school, in primary school. And then um, I just never stopped essentially. So I've always wanted to become an artist and that's what I've always done. Since I've been in Vietnam for about five years, I feel like in a way I'm an outsider and an insider. So I, I, I know the community here pretty well, but at the same time there are a lot of artists here who um, who of course are natives and who have been working in a vein that um, is maybe a little more um, relevant in terms of being politically active. And so as an artist who's interested in these things, um, who's, who's coming from America and interested in the politics of America as well, I'm trying to be as sensitive as I can when I'm here in Vietnam to not overstep my boundaries, to understand that there are issues politi politically back home, but there are issues politically here as well. And I think as an outsider, I have to be very conscious and very sensitive to, to what's going on, to what I can and can't do. Um, as an artist, of course, I can't show every work that I make here because of, of censorship and, uh, and, and issues related to that. Um, and at the same time, I think there are also a lot of artists who are working um, in that vein where that, that, that is more, to me, more relevant, meaning they they're from here, they're the ones kind of taking the steps to kind of change society slowly here and I, I don't want to ruin or overstep my boundaries in terms of the work that they've been doing. So it's important for me to be engaged in the community where I can and that could be, you know, mentoring other artists, it could be giving my experience and sharing my experience with the community here as, a, as an artist who's worked in, in multiple fields as a curator, as a writer, as a critic. So for the last five years since I've been in Vietnam, um, as I said earlier, the, the work has really kind of focused on the changing architecture that I see around me. And, um, and then also coming from America, um, some of the ideas I'm interested in uh, relate to notions of the American dream, this idealization that, uh, that is kind of disappearing in America also with the, the current government. Um, and so, um, Idea-wise, the work that I'm making now kind of superimposes this idea of the American dream onto the, the Saigon landscape where, where I live now. So in a way, you, you, let it, uh, you let it organically you know, happen in terms of how it comes into your work. But that's what I'm seeing now in my own work is that there is this, um, yeah, there is this concern um, on, on, on both sides, but looking at it through the lens of architecture.